Hey everybody, welcome to another video for Stereoland in Bloomington, Minnesota. I'm David. And I'm Sam. And we are here today with a very exciting new product. It's a Parasound Halo JC1 Plus monoblock amplifier. And this is a brand new top of the line, state of the art amplifier from Parasound that we're really excited to get it open. So, so we're gonna do the unboxing today. We are going to really show you uh, everything about this amplifier, talk about it, and then we're going to give it a listen and we're going to tell you what our thoughts are when we're all done here, so stay tuned. Taking a look here at the front of the amplifier, here we've got the power switch, and this has got a glow here to it as well. This is the light for the power. When it's on, it's going to glow blue as well. And over here on the far right is the high temp indicator. And this is going to light up when the amplifier has gotten too hot and it needs to cool off and take care of itself. And this is going to light up here and then the amplifier is going to shut down until it's safely uh, able to operate once again. Here we are taking a look at the back of the unit. Let's cover this at a high level for you. So here we've got balanced input and output. This is if you want to loop uh, to another amplifier you would use the output otherwise just sending a signal in you're going to use the input and here we have the unbalanced version as well. And there's a switch here that goes between the balanced and the unbalanced, depending on which connections you are using. There's also a gain switch here for a normal setting and a low setting, and this is really uh, depending on system needs. In addition, this is a bias switch here, which has a normal and a low position, again, dependent on your system needs. Here are the speaker connections. This amplifier, while it is a monoblock amplifier, will drive two speakers if you are going to be doing um, more of a bywire type situation. So you could send these for the treble and this here for the bass. We've got a master power switch over here along with the power inlet here and it's a standard 15 amp IEC connector. And lastly here, there's some turn on options and this is uh, giving you the choice of doing a manual turn on also a 12 volt trigger or an audio input that the amplifier responds to when there's an audio signal and it turns itself on. That is about it for the back, except for mentioning that the handles here, being this is a heavy amplifier as I can attest, these are very helpful. So while they have nothing to do with the sound, your back will thank you on that for sure. So I think Sam, what what I really liked about this is no matter the speakers that we threw at it, it didn't matter. Um, all pairs of speakers that Sam mentioned, these all just played effortlessly. These amplifiers have no problem. With the 450 watts that they have, there's no shortage of wattage for these amplifiers. And it really, frankly, doesn't matter how efficient or inefficient the speakers are for you because this is gonna be a perfect match. Um, the one thing that, that Parasound does make uh, quite a big deal out of is the amperage, or the amperes. Uh, amps for short, these power amplifiers are now at a 180 amp capacity, whereas the old JC1s were at 135. So really that's going to give you that better control on the sound and better control uh, really means that everything about from the low level details to the, to the uh, 
really the, the base end, the upper end, and everything in between is just going to be presented in a more accurate fashion. Um, I think the one thing I love is that you get a pure Class A sound with this up to 25 watts. And when these amplifiers can run in Class A, um, it's like a, it's it's a quality that's that's um, just far better than than others that might be a, only a class A slash B, um, and and these amplifiers really, you know, really just sing because of that. So even at average volumes on an average speaker, average efficiency, you can stay under that 25 watt threshold, and you'll get all of that pure class A technology. So Sam, I'm curious, what do you think about this? I mean. Um, I think we both really like it a lot here and want to hear what can you share with everybody. Thanks David. You're right, I did really, really love these amplifiers. I mean for starters they just had incredible detail all throughout the entire range of sound. It was just so crisp, so clear. I just literally was blown away with how much you can get out of these amplifiers. The bass and the impact of the bass especially, it was really visceral, it was hard hitting. We were listening to, certain, we're listening to certain tracks like Stevie Wonder's Superstition where it's just every single hit on that bass drum was just hard and fast. The, the, the rumble of the bass was really low and deep on certain tracks like Hans Zimmer's Mountains. It was just every single aspect of this amplifier is like it was designed to bring out the most in the speakers. And I was honestly really blown away. Yeah, and David, I'd just like to add the dynamics on these amplifiers were just absolutely incredible. On that, on the highest points in the song, it was you got they handled it incredibly well. You still got everything. And then the lowest points in the song, they maintained that level of detail to an extent that I've never seen in an amplifier before. Yep. Very good. Yeah, I was just gonna to add to that. Just we had some piano tracks, right? And we thought that that was even a very soft piano. It just you know, you'd think, oh, I have all this power, I don't need it for that, but it just was effortless. It was really quite beautiful. So we've pretty much wrapped up here what our thoughts are on these. If you can't tell, we really like these amplifiers. They're wonderful. These are here at Stereo Land, Bloomington, Minnesota. Please, 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 if you're in the market for these or you're even thinking about it, come down and take a listen. We've got this beautiful setup here. Everything is hooked up and ready to go. If there's a particular speaker or two that you would like to, uh, you know, play around with or have it hooked up, everyone here can help you with that as well to make sure that you really have a chance to put these through uh, their paces and really, you know, make sure that you know that this is something that you're going to enjoy. But I, I really trust that you probably will enjoy them very much once you get a chance to listen to them. So um, I think that does it for now. So again, this has been a video here for Stereo Land in Bloomington, Minnesota. I am David. This is Sam, right? Absolutely. And make sure that you check out our website, Stereoland.com. We also have a Facebook page, uh, Instagram. We also have uh, YouTube as well. And then of course, on the website, Sam has a great blog. So I always enjoy checking that out myself. I encourage you to do the same as well. Thank you so much for watching.